It is no secret that Utah has one of the top performing economies in our country. And what many people don't know though, is that is really fueled by the fact that we have affordable, reliable, secure, clean energy here in the state of Utah. And much of that comes from coal, which also happens to be Utah's state rock. In fact, coal provides about 75% of the electricity provided here in the state of Utah. And that production is really important as we look to build our overall economic growth. And it creates jobs in the state. About 2,000 high paying jobs are the result of our coal industry right here in Utah. Sufco is one of the oldest coal mines in the United States and certainly the oldest continuously operated underground coal mine in the western part of the United States. We produce enough energy here on a very small footprint to provide about half of what Utah needs for electricity. Here at Sufco we have two different mining processes. One continuous miner where we drive, drive entries that uh, are necessary to enter the coal seam, set, a, set up a panel or access the coal, set up panels for long wall, and then long wall is the other method that is an extraction at this mine, 1110 feet of coal across the panel for the length of a panel. So what, what we do is we, we set this up in a block of coal and the, the shear runs back and forth along this face here and cuts the coal out of the seam here and puts it on the pan and ships it outside. We cut anywhere from 18, 19 to 30,000 tons a day with this machine in a 24 hour period. We have one of the best safety records at this mine in the entire world. We believe at Sufco that if you see something wrong, anybody, it doesn't matter what your position, you can stop the operation, you can stop the project, you can stop the task to make sure that it's done safely. So it's very important to our employees, very important to the local economy, very important to the state of Utah to keep places like this running, to provide energy, provide jobs. We've got to do th whatever we can to protect operations like this so they can survive. We have a lot of people that uh, this coal mine affects and um, makes us very proud to come to work knowing we have that uh, effect on uh, uh, this state and this community. Here at the Hunter Power Plant, we uh, receive coal from the, the local mines. On any given day, we may have 600 truck loads that uh, comes to the plant. We have the uh, capacity to generate 1,363 megawatts. The Hunter plant has three units. Uh, the first unit uh, came online in 1978, and over that time, the Hunter power plant has been a, a reliable source of cost-effective electric energy to uh, hundreds of thousands of, of residential and, uh, and manufacturing or wholesale customers. Pacific Corp is, is a great environmental steward. They uh, are very much concerned about the environment. There are three major retrofits that uh, we've made at the Hunter plant. Uh, we've installed equipment to reduce SOx or sulfur oxide emissions. We've installed equipment to reduce nitrogen oxide emissions. And we've also uh, uh, installed or uh, retrofitted equipment to reduce particulate emissions. We as employees and we as a company, we're users of the environment and, and we, want to, we want to have a clean environment. The Division of Oil, Gas and Mining has a three-part mission. To foster the responsible development of our natural resources, to protect the health and safety of the public, and to preserve the environment. A big part of that environmental preservation is final reclamation, which occurred at Desby Dove and won a national award for the quality of that work from the U.S. Office of Surface Mining. We try to reclaim our lands to as good or, or better uh, condition that they originally were when we, when we started mining. The mine is divided into an upper seam and lower seam. Uh, so when we began our reclamation in 2001, we reclaimed the upper mine first. We gathered soils from digging pits and then again we started the reclamation of the lower seam in 2002. That's when we had to completely remove the coal that was stored in the canyon out of the canyon. You look at it today and we see small mammals, we see deer tracks. It's basically returned back to its natural state. 
Clearly, Utah's low sulfur, high BTU content coal has played a critical part of Utah's energy landscape. But there are challenges today on continuing to use coal, but we believe that coal can be a fundamental and critical part of our energy future, continuing to provide value to that energy landscape as well as our overall economy. And so how are we going to do that? We're going to do it through innovation. And Utah is really demonstrating leadership with companies right here in the state looking at how we can capture carbon, how we can do biofuel firing uh, so that we can lower overall emissions, and how we can generally improve the efficiencies of our coal plants here in the state of Utah. In fact, the University of Utah currently has a $16.5 million grant to deliver Deliver on this mission. We are at University of Utah's Industrial Combustion and Gasification Research Facility. Um, this is a world-class facility where we have uh, pilot scale combustors and gasifiers and at this facility we, we have eight large units that we perform research on. We are doing experiments today on two different advanced coal combustion technologies and the purposes of both of these technologies is to eventually get to a, a full-scale installation of a coal-fired utility boiler where we have zero emission, meaning no CO2 emission and no other pollutant emission. In more recent years, in the last decade, we've retrofit this unit with advanced combustion technology that allows us to separate CO2 out. We continue to push the envelope on the type of combustion that we're able to run in this unit. When you decide, or we decided as a society, that we want to limit the emissions from coal-fired utility boilers or remove CO2, um, obviously we have to pay for that in some way. Um, and we typically do that in terms of energy penalties or efficiency penalties. And our purpose here is to develop technology that reduces those penalties as much as possible. Sustainable Energy Solutions is a company that is developing a cryogenic carbon capture technology that affordably cleans the emissions coming out of coal-fired power plants and other fossil-fueled industrial sources of CO2. We actually freeze the CO2 and the other things out of the gas and that's how we separate them. So everybody knows that when you get something cold enough it'll freeze. That's not very innovative, but doing that in an energy efficient way is one of the keys to our technology. Fossil fuels and renewables uh, aren't competing with each other. They don't need to compete with each other. We need to come up with solutions, not just point fingers, and uh, this technology is one way that we can do that. The impact globally of those technologies could be transformational in really enabling the world now to use the world's fossil energy resources in ways that are going to be, you know, the, are ways that are going to maintain the quality of our air, our water, and our climate. Emitting CO2 is not a problem that's just local. Once it gets into the atmosphere, it, it can go anywhere and it stays there for a very long time. So when, when we talk about technologies that reduce CO2 concentration in the atmosphere, we can only make an impact if, if everybody in the world is going to participate. If you kind of do the math, coal will continue to be used uh, for, I believe, at least decades into the future. We need to figure out how to use that resource in a way that makes sense, not only for us, but for the future of our, of our children, our grandchildren, and the planet. <music>